everyone, Digital David here. Today in this video, I'm gonna be checking out the Winix 5500-2 air purifier. I did purchase this product myself and any opinion expressed in this video is strictly my own. That being said, if you're interested in this air purifier or you wanna find out more about it, the link to it will be in the video description. Take a look at the retail box and packaging. Everything looks great. You'll notice this is for medium-sized rooms up to 360 square feet. On the side, we have some additional tech specs and features advertised, four stage air filtration, smart sensors, auto mode, sleep mode, and we have their plasma wave technology. Now let's go ahead that we've seen the box. Let's open it up and look at the contents. Looking for a secure and reliable way to access the internet? Look no further than ExpressVPN. Protect your personal information and browsing history from prying eyes. Act now and sign up for ExpressVPN today using our link in the description and receive an extra three months of service for free. Here are all the contents. First up, we have a product literature consisting of the Winix Filter Club and a full user guide and manual walking you through all the important tech specs right here this does come with a two-year warranty verified room size up to 360 square feet backside we have all of our usage instructions here how to set up control clean and maintain the air purifier next you'll notice we have a small remote control with five buttons on it Here's a look at the back side. Pull this tab before use. If you're wondering, this does use a CR2025 battery. And then lastly, we have the air purifier itself. Let's look at this in more detail. Here's a look at the top of the unit. You'll see our venting up at the top and we have a grip handle design right along the back and top. Then we'll tip it forward a little bit. You'll see our control panel here with their logo and branding, multiple buttons, smart sensor, reset button, check filter light. This is your ambient light sensor and your air quality indicator is front and center. Here's a look at the side of the unit, the bottom of the unit here, the other side of the unit, the back side of the unit with additional product info. On the front, you'll notice that the front cover just gently pops off. It is magnetized up at the top, revealing our filter and pre-filter right here. So we have some tape to remove, and then this should just pop right out. Easy to wash and clean. And then we have instructions here to remove the plastic wrapper on the filter itself. Oh, this is pretty heavy duty. And you'll see the inside and how everything looks without the filter installed. Once removed from the packaging, you'll notice the filter is actually in two parts. We have a washable carbon filter up at the top, and then we have our main filter right here. So pretty cool. Go ahead, follow how we have everything installed right here. I want to keep those pull tabs up, and then this can just drop right in place on top. And then we want to go ahead and put our pre-filter right back there. And then we can take the top cover, line it up, and it'll just snap right in place. Now let's plug it in and try it out. So we have the unit plugged in. Let's go ahead. Let's power it on. We have a nice startup chime in tune right there. Then moving right along, we're currently in auto mode, but we can set that to sleep mode. And you'll see all the lights are disabled. Just the little moon illuminated. We can toggle back to auto mode. Plasma wave is in blue right here. Then we have our air quality indicator. We can toggle plasma wave on or off. And then we have our different fan speed options. And as soon as we press that, you'll see auto mode goes away. So now we have our second, third, fourth, which is our maximum fan speed setting. And go back to number one. And then we have our timer right here. One hour, four hours, or eight hours, or back off. Check filter, reset. Then we have our ambient light sensor and our smart sensor for the air quality. So now let's talk about some real world tests. So we have some clean air here in the studio. So we have the light illuminated blue, all is well there. And using our air quality monitor, you're seeing the same thing here. The lower the score, the better. We're getting between four and eight, that's great. We can toggle through the other settings, HCHO, 0.02, PM 2.5, one, that's great. You want that to be low. You want all these values to be low. TVOC 
and back to the AQI, so everything is accurate and adding up as you would expect. For how large this unit is, it's very quiet. We're in the lowest fan speed setting, so let's see the max decibel readout that we get. With the lowest fan speed setting, we peaked at 45.1 decibels. Fan speed setting two yielded a max decibel readout of 49.1, so a slight increase. Honestly, it's not really even that noticeable. Fan speed setting three definitely is more noticeable. We're at 56.1 decibels. And then on the maximum speed setting, we're showing 70.6 decibels. That one's definitely noticeable and it is moving a huge amount of air. Now, how much air is it moving? Well, we just measured right here 1,280 feet per minute of air is coming out of this unit. So that's really powerful and very high compared to your traditional more tabletop, smaller room air purifiers. And now let's have some fun with our smoke machine here. We're gonna blast it into the air intake to see how much of any comes out the top right here to get a feel for how good of a job the filter is gonna do to trap some of that smoke. So we have it on the lowest fan speed setting here. That'll maybe give us the best chance to see some of it coming out. Let's just go for it. Oh, wow. Oh wow, I don't see, I didn't see any come out of there. What the heck? That's amazing. No way. That's awesome. We're gonna crank up the fan speed setting. Now we're gonna try it again with the maximum speed setting here. See if that makes a difference. Oh boy, look at that. We are just, filling this thing with smoke. And let me tell you, that's a lot of smoke. Nothing coming out the top. Visually, it's trapped just about everything. I mean, look at this. We'll fill up the whole room with smoke here so you can see how much we actually put into there. Pretty substantial amount, nothing coming out the top. I mean, check that out. All of that and none of that was coming out the top here. All that was being injected right in here and it's all being trapped in there. And now for fun, we're gonna put some more smoke in the room so you can see it pulling it back to the machine. So cool to visually see it being drawn to the machine. And you'll notice our indicator light, the air quality has changed. It's sensing all of those particles in the air, giving us the red light, letting us know that the air is not clean. So let me share with you my final thoughts in regards to this Winix air purifier. This is definitely made for large spaces. You could use it in a small space as well. It's portable, you have a nice handle up top and it's not too heavy given its size. It has one of the best filters I've ever used. Not seeing any smoke make its way through the filters there. And I like the magnetic cover and panel. It's just really clever and just seems to have a nice, simple, yet thorough and thoughtful design. I like the indicator light being front and center here so you can easily get that visual indicator of your room and the air quality. The controls are super simple as well and you can easily toggle on Plasma Wave. I think it's really cool, but I'm not sure how effective Plasma Wave really is, if it's a gimmick or not. But what I know is good is the filter here, so high quality filtration. Bonus is picking up the plasma wave technology. Very simple and straightforward to use this device. If you're gonna use it on those higher fan speed settings, just know three and four, they're gonna be very, or fairly loud, I should say. You will notice them in the room, but if you have it on one or two, chances are you're not really gonna notice it with the typical background noise in your house, office, things like that. So overall, count me impressed.